Welcome to the Mayor's Show. This is a show you're going to want to pay attention to, and I mean that sincerely. And our guest today is Dr. Lee, uh, superintendent of our schools. Dr. Lee, welcome aboard. Uh, good morning, Mayor. Thank you for having me. And over to my right is uh, we have the director with us again, Bill McVeigh. And when I said pay attention, I mean pay attention. There's great news and there's a little bit of bad news. The great news is what we're going to tell you about. The bad news, don't break the law. So uh, I guess, Dr. Lee, the school district and certainly working with us here at the township with our police department, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this program of all the buses with cameras, when they're stopped, tell them what's going on. Well, uh, if uh, this coming fall a bus is uh, stopped, not in motion, the stop arm's down, and the red lights are on, if you pass that bus illegally, we will know, and our police department will know. Uh, that's the bad news. That's the good news. Uh, well, it's, it's good and bad. What happens? Right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, last winter, we, we were introduced to a product uh, in a company called Bus Patrol, which uh, is an outfit that equips our buses with those cameras, with advanced communication devices to make sure that our kids first and foremost are safe that are in transit to and from school and throughout our township and actually outside our township because we have uh, multiple runs that service our non-public uh, students uh, that, that go all over Bucks County and even in Philadelphia County. So uh, the, the interest uh, and the incentive is, is safety, first and foremost, and simply. And now we have a mechanism and an opportunity to uh, firm up what safe means and how it's managed. And uh, we could not have been able to do this without our uh, tremendous partnership with our township and our police department. We're, we're blessed in and around that. and, and uh, this is just one example of that, that the advantages and benefits we all derive from that partnership. Well, the good news, truthfully, is the safety of, of our yeah. kids. There's no question. That was the good news. I'll have the director tell you a little bit about what happens. God forbid you go through that. And you have to remember that. This is what I'm telling you. Pay attention. If people are from Ben Salem or watching this show, pay attention. Bill? Cool. Yes, Mayor, and uh, thank you, Dr. Lee, uh, and thank you for bringing the program here, really. Uh, You're welcome. Once Dr. Lee had met with uh, me, Mayor, about this instantly, as we always do, uh, we discussed it, and the interest of safety is number one here in Ben Salem Township. And this is a way to keep the kids safe, as Dr. Lee said, and all these buses, every bus in Ben Salem is now equipped with 360-degree cameras. So when the stop arm comes out, the cameras go on. And what's good about it is when you take your kid to that bus stop, and you see that car disregard that stop sign, you always want a cop there. You always say, man, I wish a cop was here to stop the car. Well, the cop might not be there, but now we're gonna get the tag, the owner's information, uh, and we're able to follow up with that through bus patrol. So anytime a vehicle goes through that stop arm, the license plates record it, a picture of the vehicle is recorded, uh, and in instances, the picture of the driver are recorded. Uh, it then comes to the police department, and then the officer will verify it, and then they'll be sent a citation. So uh, it comes with a $300 fine for the violation, which is a steep fine, but it's a civil fine. Uh, if you're cited by the police, uh, it's a $250 fine, but you also get five points on your license and a suspension. So it's a little less severe of a penalty. Oh, they don't get the, uh, the part about the they, they, license? They won't no get point? the points or the suspension. Okay. So it gives drivers somewhat of a break, but it's more of a fine. But the main goal here is through educating people like today's show and our press conference, and then the enforcement end of it, we're gonna lead to deterrence over time. And the word will get out, and we, we anticipate drivers now paying more attention, like they have with red light cameras in, in, in areas of the country. Uh, so the key here is drive safe, stop for that stop arm. You won't get a citation, but most importantly, we keep our kids safe. And yeah, that, that's I, the main thing yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, boy, that's what it's all about, is the safety. That's what I said, the good news, the bad news. Certainly the safety is the absolute good news. So you're going to have to pay attention or else the bad news is the $300 fine. Right. And uh, nobody likes to fine people. But by the way, there'll be some questions about how can you do this, give a ticket, or you want to sure. talk about it's legislated, right? Yeah, so in, uh, 
in Pennsylvania, you could not do this until 2020. The governor enacted a new law that authorizes this to stop arm camera signals that we can enforce through civil penalties. And I think the main thing here is for people to realize when that bus stops, you have an obligation and a duty to stop. Unless the highway is divided, like the turnpike with a barrier, you have to stop if the bus stops on the opposing lane. Uh, and wh what we see mainly, mainly as police officers is, it's that, you know, the car's approaching, it goes red, and they quick try and go around. And, you know, God forbid a kid's there. Uh, so well we've had it happen, too. So we'll and, and, and I do believe that this uh, is going to be a way that over time we're going to deter that and change driver behavior, which is the goal. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Lee, I know uh, your incentive to get this done is we always talk about the safety of the kids, and we'll continue to do that. But I think it's an initiative that you took and ran with immediately. And I think that's important. People should know that. Well, thank you. Yeah, we were, we were uh, impressed with the possibilities uh, and anything that can provide safety for our kids and comfort for our community. We're always interested in. Uh, we, we, we knew and we're confident that we have support and cooperation oh, and collaboration. We always do. Um, so we're both excited about this and, uh, and optimistic uh, for enhanced safety for our travelers and our students. And uh, we need help from our community to, to pay attention. We come back next week, 6,500 kids will be in transit back and forth. Just in Ben Salem Township, there's an, an additional thousand students that leave us that go to other schools but use our transportation. Um, so it, it, it's big and we already are incredibly busy in Ben Salem. We're a very vibrant township yeah, and, we are. and a lot of traffic coming through our community for various reasons. Uh, we just encourage everybody, please, please, please pay attention to the school buses, the lights, the stop arms, and be patient. Please, please be patient. Well, I want to just add on now, school's opening up. And yeah. It's, uh, the date is, what's the date that school's Mo Monday. Sale. Monday? Mo yeah, Monday, uh, we, we come back. Some of our, our charter school kids are uh, in session already. Uh, a few of our non-public schools are open. Uh, and next week, it's back to normal. Back to normal. Oh. Be best time of year. Yeah, yeah it falls a beautiful time. Yeah, are you kidding? Yeah. It's always been my favorite. Of course, on the farm, it was always my favorite because it cooled down and it was you got a couple <laughs> right, great right, months, yeah. you know. Uh, I don't want to change the subject too much here. <laughs> but, Bill, this that's going on to safety is not the only initiative we have here at Ben Salem. There's so many things that we work on and you work on and, and the great job that our men and women do down there. Uh, is there anything you want to add on with school opening and all these things Certainly. happening simultaneously? Uh, yeah, so it is a lot of, a, a lot of movement and, and uh, Dr. Lee and myself, we speak uh, daily pretty yeah. much throughout the year. And I think we are really, Mayor, uh, blessed in this community to work together like we do. A lot of districts don't. But I think, uh, and the doctor hit on this, is school starting, give yourself a little more time to get to work. It added another 10 minutes or so because that's where we see it that September, October, people are still adjusting uh, to, and th to the increase of traffic. So give yourself more time. But one point I think we need to mention here is uh, this was at no cost to the district or the taxpayer of Ben Salem. And I think that's why it's such a great program that it's built to be violator funded. So in addition to getting all this great equipment, we also have an increased safety on the bus because the cameras are on the bus and that protects our kids. Uh, which we as a police department through the school district will be able to have access if there's an emergency on the bus. We'll be able to get eyes on that bus and direct our officers there quickly. So uh, it's more than just a stop arm violations, it's overall enhanced safety, right. just like we do in the buildings of the school, having the cops walk through, interacting with the teachers, interacting with the students, uh, just to build that bond and to connect us and keep the kids safer and let them feel safe and let the parents feel safe sending their kids to school. Uh, you know, we talk about that at, at the being in the schools, it gives the opportunities for youngsters to, to respect the police, and that respect goes back to the youngsters because I know our, how our police are. But today's uh, age, the way things are, at least the kids get to know the, the police in the schools. They yep. understand that we're there to help, that you're yes, always sir. there. So uh, you want to add anything else? It's your opportunity. Sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, in, in addition to, to bus patrol, are th there are other uh, 
inherent safety features in our transportation scheme. We, we try to uh, minimize or all, all eliminate uh, the, the opportunity for kids to cross major thoroughfares. We, we focus on right-hand pickups. We know for parents, we're aware that sometimes it may take a little longer uh, for your child to be in transit, but we think it's worth that time <coughs> to keep our kids safe. Oh, absolutely. So you get on the bus on the right-hand side, you get off the bus on the right-hand side, you're not crossing major thoroughfares. That's, uh, that's the way our, our routes are developed and schemed, uh, and it's worth it for us. Incidentally, we're, we're, we have our own school district, Bensale Township. You know, mm -hmm. there's not too many that have their own school district. Oh, we, yeah, well, there, there are our drivers. We're, we're very proud of our transportation department. They, they are quite simply the best. They, uh, as I say to them every year and throughout the year, we can't do our jobs until they do their jobs. They get our kids to us and they get them home. You know, maybe I could be a bus driver if I retire, <laughs> you know? We'll get you CDL. <laughs> I have CDL. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm a farm boy. Come on. <laughs> uh, anyway, Phil, I'll give you the last word. Uh, I would again just like to say, uh, please drive safe. Stop for that stop sign uh, on the bus. And I'd like to thank Dr. Lee and his board and all his staff uh, for bringing this to us and collaborating with us and having open arms uh, to let law enforcement help keep them safe. Okay. And if you have any questions, Thank call you. over the school district please. or you call yeah. our police or you can call our my office so there should be no uh, reason not to understand what's going on out there this is not big brother this is safety for your children and all of our children here and wherever we go with our buses yeah. it, it's going to happen and i hope others all do it around i hope they all get this uh, yeah this I, commitment I think, uh, uh, I think it, it's going to happen we'll uh, we'll we'll show the way and others will follow. Yeah. And remember, this is legislative. This is not something we're just pulling off here. We're allowed to do this, right? Am yes, I sir. Correct? 2020, the law changed. Okay. Yes. And uh, following this, the show here, you'll see we'll have a, the press conference that we had down at Cornwall School. Yeah. So they'll be able to follow that on there. So, uh, Bill. Thank you, Director, Mayor. thank you. Dr. Lee. Thank you, Mayor. Thank Thanks you. Until next time, everybody, God bless. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of School Directors and the Ben Salem Township School District, I welcome you to our Cornwalls Elementary. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mark, Sean Mark, principal here for your hospitality. Appreciate the opportunity to be with you all to share some exciting and important news. Um, we have, in partnership with our Ben Salem Township Police Department, committed to uh, working with bus patrol to advance and enhance the safety of all of the Ben Salem Township school district, parochial, charter, school children, as well as community members through this product that provides enhanced safety, an operating system that helps us manage transportation in and around the Ben Salem Township School District community for every day our kids go back and forth to school. You know we're an incredibly dynamic, vibrant community. A lot of vehicles and traffic pass through here. We are, quite frankly, an attraction and a destination for many. We're proud of that, but it's incumbent and critical that we keep our kids safe in transit back and forth to school. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this is just one of the things we do in partnership with our Ben Salem Township Police Emergency Management. They are incredible partners, collaborators, and supporters. We have the same goals, the absolute best for our children and community. And we're blessed by and through that relationship we have been. And behind it all is our school board and represented here by Jay Patel and our mayor, the Honorable Joseph DiGirolamo. So thank you all for being here. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, our Director of Public Safety, William McVeigh, uh, one of the primary supporters and architects of this project. So thank you. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lee. And uh, this project started um, back in January 
Uh, Dr. Lee called me and said he had an initiative he wanted to work on, and he wanted to see if the mayor and I would be in support of this. And it took a few minutes uh, to explain it, and immediately we were on board. I think one of the most important things to put out there uh, in this project that we collaborated with Bus Patrol is this costs nothing for the taxpayers of Ben Salem. Uh, there's no increases in any taxes for school, property, anything. Uh, this project is uh, solely funded um, by the violators. So that's very important. And that's why in this program, we're combining education with enforcement. And that's the first step today, and we're thankful for you being here, is to educate the public that come September, all Ben Sound Township school buses are equipped with 360 degree cameras. They're gonna capture all those violators that when you're driving or you're taking your kid to the bus stop and you see someone blow that stop sign, at least my thought was always, I wish there was a cop here. I wish someone could stop him. This technology will now be able to do that. They're not gonna stop them, but they're gonna get a ticket in the mail. Um, we're looking at right now a significant increase in enforcement. And what that'll lead to over time is what we're all hopeful for is deterrence. The people will eventually realize I can't go through that stop sign. The aggressive drivers will stop. And just so everyone's aware, the current law, if you violate that stop sign on a school bus, is $250 fine, five points on your license, and a 60-day automatic suspension. This changes that. It goes to a civil penalty. It'll be $300. There'll be no uh, suspension, or there'll be no points issued. But one thing to remember, if you have an egregious violation, if you do something that's out of the ordinary rather than just roll the stop sign, the police department reviews every violation the bus patrol records. So we can always still issue that more enhanced violation. Uh, if we know it's someone's second or third offense, we can opt to then issue that uh, more stern violation. Um, the ultimate goal, and I think everyone in this community will appreciate, is the safety of all of our students. Uh, they're the priority of our police department, they're the priority of all our school uh, teachers, of all our administrators, uh, of our mayor. That's our number one priority, and this is greatly going to enhance it. Um, we're going to have a tour for you to see it. Uh, it's important to know that the cameras are also on the interior of the buses. Uh, many times incidents happen on a bus. Someone's driving, they can't stop the bus. It's hard for them to see. We have direct access to those cameras. The school district, the police department, which greatly enhances the safety of the children. Uh, and, and it gives us a better chance to respond as a police department and as a school district to effectively handle all situations. Mayor. Uh, thank you, Director. Uh, anybody knows me, I'm a team guy. I talk about teams all the time, teams win. And certainly you see behind me, you see part of our team, just part of it. Uh, we take great pride in our police department here, our EMS and our fire. It's just uh, they're incredible people. They work hard at this, they're well trained. And this is just another step in the direction for safety. Uh, during the day in Ben Salem Township, there's more than 250,000 people go through this town. So you know it's a destination town. People using the, from the turnpike to 95, everybody's using to go through and a lot of people work here. So the traffic is incredible. Uh, the violations are incredible. You wouldn't believe it. I've watched it myself, be behind a school bus and people pass it. Uh, you can imagine the safety that it takes for a child or anything crossing the street, we've already had that happen, unfortunately, in Ben Salem. So this this is the right step in the right direction and the technology. And uh, again, I thank uh, our, our school board and doctor for the great job that you're doing there and our police. We're on top of this. And stay tuned. We have more high-tech stuff coming here to Ben Salem. It's very important. And... Uh, I know that all of you, you came here this morning. I don't think you had an easy trip if you went down Street Road and everything. You know how busy we are. So imagine our school buses all throughout this community now being able to catch people doing the wrong thing. All of our schools going through our zones. So uh, we're blessed to have this happen here, and it couldn't have happened without, obviously, Dr. Lee, his school board, and our police department. So again, uh, we're out there and we're ready to get things done. It's a great thing for Ben Salem. No cost to the taxpayers, uh, a feature that, that stands uh, to keep our kids safer than they were before. We're proud of it. Yeah,